What's up guys, Matthew Monas here, and today we're gonna to be talking about the Samsung Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus. A lot of rumors, speculation, and leaks have been surrounding these phones. They're coming out, hopefully, in a couple of months, so I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know. So let's start off with the design. Don't expect a huge change when it comes to looks. The Galaxy S8 and the S8 Plus are gorgeous looking smartphones, and the same tradition is gonna happen here with the Galaxy S9. Same design, but you're gonna have slightly thinner bezels, and most importantly, Importantly, that fingerprint scanner on the back is going to be placed right below the cameras, making it easier to get to. I know with the Galaxy S8 or the S8 Plus or even the Note 8, the further you go up in size, the harder it is to get your finger to the scanner. Also, I think this is a great time for Samsung to have stereo speakers. This has been missing for the past few years. All the other high-end smartphone manufacturers are placing them on their device, and I think this is a good time for Samsung to capitalize on that. But I do have to commend Samsung. It is rumored that Samsung is going to keep the headphone jack. I know a lot of people are sick and tired of hearing about this. Some people are saying, just get rid of all the headphone jacks already. Let's move on with life. Others are saying, please hang on to it. I would rather hang on to it. There's a lot of expensive headphones out there or comfortable headphones out there that you love and enjoy. And some people just don't wanna to have to worry about charging Bluetooth wireless headphones all the time. It's nice to have that headphone jack. So expect Samsung to keep this, at least on this device. I'm not too sure about the Galaxy S10. There's gonna be a point in time where they will get rid of it. So for the display, expect a lot of the same features from last year. You're gonna have HDR support. You're gonna have beautiful, bright, vivid colors. And of course, great brightness. In fact, I don't know how Samsung's gonna do it. The displays on the S8 lineup or even the Note 8 is so good right now, I cannot wait to see the improvements on the Galaxy S9. Now the only other thing I do wish is that Samsung flattens out the edges. I'm not a big fan of the edges. I think that still makes it a little bit too difficult to type on. So if they can flat it out a little bit similar to the Note 8, it'll make the experience better. Performance is gonna be very interesting this year because Samsung is gonna release versions of their smartphone using the brand new Snapdragon 845 and certain countries will get that and other countries will get Samsung's own Exynos 9810. But the big difference is this year is that the Exynos 9810 has some features that the Snapdragon 845 doesn't. Not only is it gonna be more energy efficient, it also has a secure processing unit on it to better handle things like facial recognition, touch ID, and keeping your smartphone secure overall. All. There's also a lot of artificial intelligence processing built into this core to make it a little bit different than what Snapdragon is offering. Now, unfortunately, the Galaxy S9 is rumored to only come with four gigabytes of RAM. Now, I love the Galaxy S8, it's a good phone, but I've been using it for quite a long period of time and I am starting to find it to slow down, whereas the Galaxy Note 8 with six gigabytes of RAM feels just as fast as the day I got it. The good news is that the S9 Plus is rumored to come with six or even eight, which would be better. So if you want that extra RAM, you might have to get the bigger model, but you can expect both of these devices to run Android 8.0 Oreo right out of the gate. I'm kind of curious to see what Samsung does with their theming. Usually every single year, they reduce the amount of bloat that's on these smartphones. It's still not perfect, but it is getting better. And of course, you're gonna to expect to see Bixby. It's still gonna be there, and most likely they're not gonna allow you to change the Bixby button to anything else. Next up is the camera, and this is where Samsung is taking another step from Apple. They're gonna have the S9 with one sensor, and the S9 Plus is gonna have two sensors. So very similar to the Note 8, you're gonna have your regular shooter, which takes regular photos, and then of course, you're gonna have that zoom lens, which allows you to zoom in up to two times. I'm sure we'll see other software features like more AR stickers, and some fun little emojis that you can use, maybe even a possible Sam emoji, if that's a thing, can be built into this smartphone. But because of the processors that they're using, like the Snapdragon 845, and of course the Exynos 9810, you can expect 120 frames per second, possibly at 4K, and even slow-mo from seven to 900 frames per second. And last up is battery life. This is one area where I don't expect to see a huge improvement, just a slight improvement. I don't think the battery size will be that much bigger, if anything, maybe 100 to 200 more milliamps, but because these brand new chips that are gonna be placed in these smartphones are gonna be super efficient, you should see about seven to 10% better battery life overall. So that pretty much wraps up everything you need to know about the Galaxy S9 and the S9 Plus. If there's any breaking information that I think is worthwhile telling you, I'll definitely make another video on it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Are you excited for the Galaxy S9 or even the S9 Plus? Are you happy with your device that you have right now? Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like to hit the like button, and I'll talk to you in the next video.